Okay, on this one, I just wanted to go over a couple of things I do uh, for maintenance and storage of this equipment. Okay, the recovery cylinder, there's not a lot to do. However, once I shut the valve off, well, uh, let me go over one thing with these valves too. Uh, I've seen an awful lot of these handle broken off. The reason they're broken off is everybody's tightening these things down really tight. Don't get Looney Tune on tightening these down. It's really not that huge of a deal. Get them snug, they should hold fine. Okay, when, I, when I'm going to be not using this, I pull my line off. I put a cap on it. I put a cap on everything. Something is covering all these so I don't get dirty. Now you may say it doesn't make any difference, it's going to be reclaimed anyway, but uh, it's just the way I do it. One of the reasons I do this kind of stuff is so that I don't mis make mistakes on things that are important. If I do it in everything, then I'm not going to make any mistakes. So. If I hold the same standard to all of what I do, then I'm better off. Okay, now let's look at what we do with this hose. Okay, on my recovery machine, I have this hose that I pulled off of the cylinder. And I've also got this hose here that comes from the gauge set. I'm going to take the one off of the gauge set and Hook it back up to the gauge set. I know you can't see that, but okay. Now this is open, and one of the things about this, this dryer is no longer a dryer. It's a filter dryer, both, but it's no longer a dryer if I leave it open for 24 hours. So I take the hose that I use for processing, and I put it right there like that. Now, the last little thing I do here. If you can notice, I have a little bit of pressure. I know it's a little hard to see, but there's, there's like 75 pounds of pressure on the high side gauge. Okay, if I open this, that's going to put pressure in this line. So I've opened it. This one is still closed. So if I bleed here, I've actually bled refrigerant into the dryer, displaced any air that was in there, now this thing is ready to go. I can store it and when I'm ready to use it again I have my process tube here, my dryer's in good shape, all is wonderful. Other than that there's not a whole lot to do in these things. Uh, they do require a little bit of oil which they will probably get with the refrigerant that comes through, at least that's what the manufacturer says. I usually recover all gas if I can, and in that case, I end up with uh, not as much oil coming through, but I've never had one of these things fail because of that. Okay, I've had plenty of them fail because the valves broke because they run liquid into it. So anyway, that's it's in the recovery position. Back to off here. Uh, back to off here. You're ready to store it and use it again everything's clean and that's it on storing the recovery cylinder and the machine